Excuse me? What do you think you're doing? Why would you call your brewery this name? Sudberg's Cox Brewery Cartum Stout Blimey guys Cox Brewery Why would you do that? It's beer o'clock on Real Craft Beer Today we got a beer called Cartum Stout There's the label There's the papered bottle cap it is 5.7% ABV, 22 IBUs, and an EC or an EBC of 68. Without further ado, let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Woo! Jesus! Like a bomb going off. Beer in a glass. It's a carbonated stout. Ah. Why the ah? Because I don't feel a stout should be doing that. Have a look. Can you see that carbonation rolling up the side of the glass? If you have a look at the top of the, the the head there, bottom of the head, top of the actual liquid, you'll see that the, can I call it bubbles or carbonation? You'll see the carbonation there, just smacking against the, the head of the beer. So the head's trying to dissipate, dissipate away, but there's enough carbonation just to hold it there and keep it steady. For me, it suggests a very light stout. A stout that is quite thin and a stout that's not got much mouthfeel. And it's just, I've drunk so many of these beers up to now. I don't know, we could call it a dry Irish stout, which is very drinkable, but at 5.7% ABV, as this beer is, I'm not sure we can call it a dry Irish stout. Let's get the aroma on this jet black beer. Lots of carbonation, lots of big bubbles in the head. In fact, if you have a look at it, I've not quite seen a head on a beer quite like that before. I'm hoping, look at that. That head almost looks uniformed. It almost looks, look at them bubbles. They're quite big, but they, they really don't want to go anywhere. Almost looks like honeycomb. It's, do I have a, right. Compare the two heads. One, very, very small. Bubbles. Can you see on the left hand side, this finger here, my my, my, my very big, so I'm going to hide my fingernails. I'm about to go on holiday and I want to hide, I want to cut my fingernails at the very last minute before I go away. But have a look at the carbonation on the beer on the left, this one, and the beer on the right. It's almost another world. Okay, aroma, here we go. To be honest with you, if I'm perfectly honest, it didn't smell that bad. It's got a smoky, tobacco smoke aroma to it with some chocolate, coffee and caramel. It's a little bit vinous, some dark berry in there, some fruit, some fig. Let's taste it. Let's get in. Cheers.
Ähm, I don't want to come across as big headed. The reason why I've taken my time with this beer review into getting into the taste is that it just seemed all wrong from the very beginning, the very start. When I seen that carbonation in the glass, the big kind of fat bubbles in there, it didn't work. And it's only because I've drunk so much beer over the last eight years of my life that even now looking at a beer and that's really sad yeah it's really sad even to the stage where we can look at a beer now we, we can see that it's 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 not up to it it's not the stout that they i'm not going to read the marketing on the label one reason it's in swedish um but it's miles off of the style. I would even struggle to call it a stout. There's a little bit of roasted malt. There's a lot of back end carbonation pushing the beer around. And then there's There's a little bit of berry fruit, a little bit of bitterness, a little bit of tobacco smoke, but that's it. Guys, and I mean this, if you're watching from the brewery, watch out. Omnipolo are coming. They are coming after you. Um, this for me is not acceptable as a stout. The head is just hanging around. Look at that. Look at, I mean, it's just, that's going to stay there now. He's even hissing. The carbonation is, is, is kind of hissing and fizzing on the bottom rim of the glass. It's, to be honest with you, I don't know how they do it. I don't know whether this is Heineken or Carlsberg or InBev or one of these massive now companies but what I do know is that this is not a stout if you're from Sweden and you 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 for whatever reason decide to look at this beer on the shelf and flick on a YouTube video and find my review or somebody's told you about it and you found my review and you want to kind of check it out and watch it and whatever I have one message if you want a proper Swedish stout the very best Swedish stouts search out a company called Omnipolo they produce probably the best stouts in Sweden. Rating for this not the very best stout in Sweden. It's still rushing carbonation all over my palate. It's thin. It's a mess. It's a mess. Four out of ten. 4 out of 10 from Relo Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.